Clark, does the thought of visiting the dentist make you break out in a cold sweat? Well, here to share a way to make your next visit a little more pleasant. We're happy to welcome back from Sleep Dentistry to find Dr. Heath Lampy. Good to see you guys. Thank you guys. Good to be here. Uh, there are a lot of people, dental anxiety is huge. And I, and I think uh, unless you experience it, you have no idea how bad it can be. But you have patients who avoid the dentist because they're so worried. They are, it's one of their biggest fears in life next to paying their taxes. <laughs> <laughs> It, it starts when they're kids. It could start, you know, as an adult, and these experiences for them, it just gets worse and worse and worse throughout their lives until they totally avoid going to the dentist. And a lot of my patients, they've avoided going to the dentist 10, 20, 30 years sometimes. And all of a sudden, they get to a point where, like, I don't know what to do. Right. And so that's when they find us. Well, and you say it's important that they know there's no judgment involved. Free consultation. Right? Yes, absolutely. Um, the big thing is, like, so many of my patients have felt judged, shamed by other dentists in the past, you know, like that they're basically just almost making fun of them. Right. And it's a terrible thing because my patient's already really nervous. Right. And to have somebody tell them that their mouth is in terrible shape and that there's no hope is just awful. It makes them feel like they're in an abyss almost. Right. And so we sit down, we talk about a game plan, a strategy about what our options are, what we can do, and how we're going to simplify this process. Uh, and one of the things you use is, is sleep dentistry. Oh, yeah. And, and as I understand it, when you use sleep dentistry, one, uh, the patients remember very little, and two, you as the dentist can get a lot more work done in fewer visits because the patient is so relaxed. Yes, I mean, a lot, a lot of my patients, they'll need full mouth reconstructions. They'll what, need what a... What does that involve? Well, that's basically me reconstructing almost every tooth to basically reinforce it, make it look beautiful, make it look strong, just the way you were when you were 17 or 18 years old. And we're able to do all of these things in one or two appointments a lot of the time. You know, I'm working five, six, seven, eight hours on one patient. You know, we're not seeing 20 or 30 people in a day rushing around, right. you know, like a mill. We're just really taking our time focusing and doing the best job we can for our patients. Do you also do implants? We do a lot of implants, actually. Um, and uh, we have more and more patients coming to our practice for implant reconstructions, basically. I mean, it's an amazing thing. It really is. It's changing everyone's lives. And, and people implant when you can't save the tooth or the tooth has been gone yeah. for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. It's just you implant into the, into the, the bone? A absolutely. If, if, a, if a tooth is a total loss, and sometimes it is, we'll put an implant in there. And our big thing is we don't want to waste our patient's time or money. We want to make sure if we're going to do something that it's going to last. Is sleep dentistry appropriate for, for any kind of dental visit, whether it's a, a simple cleaning or something that as involved as, say, an implant? Yeah. We have patients come in um, to be sedated for simple cleanings. Um, we have patients uh, coming in uh, for sedation for the big things, too. It's tailored to each individual patient. That's what it is, you know. This isn't a, a cookie-cutter sort of thing. We're here to listen, and every patient is an individual. And do you treat all ages? Um, we mostly do um, teenagers Adult. and, and adults. Um, if there's really little kids, we usually have them go to a pediatric specialist. Oh, sure. It's yeah. just the best environment. Describe for the sleep, uh, because when we say sleep, yeah. I think a lot of people think of general anesthesia or something, but it's not that. It's, it's not general anesthesia. Occasionally, we'll have an anesthesiologist come in if it's a really, really medically compromised patient. Um, but it's basically a twilight sleep. Hmm. And um, what we're able to do is we're able to give different medications to basically put you in sort of a snooze sort of place where your brain shuts off. But your brain can still listen to me so that I can get the dentistry done because I've got to be able to tell the patient, turn left, turn right, open, close, all these things. But you don't remember it. It's amazing. Oh, it's, yeah. uh, it, it is. And uh, what a great thing. If you'd like more information about sleep dentistry, then call Sleep Dentistry Defined, 503-646-2273. And, of course, we'll have all this info on our website at katu.com. Thanks for coming hey, in Thanks, today. guys.